Harakati za Bongo. Wa harakati za Bongo kupitia HZB Sports nipo na mchambuzi Aba Aspira. Na leo tunaangazia tu mchezo kati ya Taifa Stars pamoja na Burundi. Mchezo ambao utapigwa katika uwanja wa Taifa saa moja kamili usiku katika michuano ya kufuzu Chan. Jina langu naitwa Mane Ndimbo, golikipa Bonge zaidi Tanzania nzima. Bwana Aba sema mambo vipi? Eh bwana pamoja vipi? Kama kawaida. Eh bwana poa. Tujionana kitambo. Eh bwana ya nilikuwa nimesafiri. Ya Nona mmeandika mmeandika kitabu kizima mechi ya mechi ya kesho. Bana sasa tathmini tufupi kuelekea mchezo kati ya Tanzania pamoja na Sudan. Tunajua kwamba timu hizi zinakutana na mara mwisho kabisa yeah. Tanzania iliweza kutoa Sudan na iweza kufuzu Chan. Yeah. Na michono hii nao ni mizuri kwa kuweza kuuza baadhi ya wachezaji yeah. lakini pia kupata mapro yeah. uh, wengi katika timu ya taifa. Yeah. Kwa uchambuzi hasa katika mchezo wa kesho. Unajua niliangalia mechi ya kwenda Kenya, mechi ya Burundi. Nikakaa chini nikaanza kuandika mambo ya kitala mambo ya kifundi ambayo ni tactical football au tactics. Nikagundua kama Taifa Stars kuna wanatakiwa wamalize mchezo mapema wamenipata. Kwa sababu mechi wa, wa Kenya tulipata taabu hatukufunga goli yote eh uwanja wa nyumbani tukaenda kule tukatoa draw tena. So ukiangalia kuna kitu tunasema tactical movement lazima wa improve. Uh, team speed, game speed, uh, tactical instruction Uh, line of defense defending uh, distant free kick play uh, passing pattern speed of play uh, movement and support speed of play uh, shoulder to shoulder ambayo hiyo ni def defensive tukawa makini sana kwenye marking tactics uh, player focus uh, overlap pattern uh, tactical match performance lazima wakishe match ile wanakuwa vizuri kiufundi nasema tactical match performance lazima iwe juu yani tactical performance lazima wakishe iwe juu yani unaona zaidi ya mechi ya mechi ya Burundi umeona na kuna kitu tunasema tactical player 442 kama anatumia formation hiyo na kama anatumia formation na 433 basi tactical player lazima iwe juu kucheza kiufundi umenipata na a taking support eh, kuna taking position lazima wakishe wana improve tulikosa goli mengi against Burundi umenipata so a taking support ilikuwa na matatizo sana Uh, ukiangalia hivyo controlling high ball lazima tu improve defending to win lazima tu improve uh, kuna kitu tunasema team attacking team communication uh, passing play uh, control dribbling lazima tu kisha tuna improve uh, tactical attacking tushambulie kiufundi unaona uh, goal keeping play ambayo reading the shooter lazima uh, nani huyu uh, nyuma kaseja hakikisha anakuwa vizuri eh, kwa reading the shooter kumsoma anayepiga tulikuwa na matatizo mechi mbili unaona so lazima tukisho, tunafanya vizuri uh, center midfield play lazima tuhakikishe tuna improve sana uh, team passing confidence uh, tactical clever lazima tuhakikishe tunafanya vizuri ball touch yetu corner goals eh, lazima tu improve kwenye corner eh, kuweza kupata magoli kwenye corner tunasema corner goals unaona Uh, team crossing counter dribbling jumping power eh, lazima tuhakikishe eh, tunafanya vizuri ndio maana nimekwambia nimechambua kitaalamu sana eh, kwa sababu tunachelewa tuna kuma, kumaliza mchezo yani mechi tupati matokeo na dakika 90 eh yani hatumalizi mchezo dakika 20 au dakika 45 tuna tunasubiri sana umenipata against Kenya hivyo hivyo hapa na away against Burundi hivyo hivyo umenipata so ile tabia ambayo ya kiufundi inajirudia lazima tubadilike ndio maana nimekwambia nimeandaa mambo mengi ya kitaalamu lazima tubadilike kwa sababu ukiangalia Sudan discipline movement wako vizuri uh, discipline defending wako vizuri midfield tactical discipline wako vizuri defensive pattern physical performance playing organization uh, midfield play wing play individual technical performance wako vizuri attacking wing play uh, defensive tactical performance wako vizuri Uh, two touch shooting corner passing goal marking tactics wako vizuri so unaona kama Sudan ni timu ambayo bado eh, ni timu ngumu umenipata ni timu ngumu kitaalam eh, ki tactics eh, kutoka goalkeeping tactics defensive tactics midfield tactics attacking tactics ufundi wote wako vizuri unaona so na mimi Taifa Stars lazima wahakikishe eh, walivyo makosa waliyofanya against Burundi makosa waliofanya against Kenya kwa tactical football uh, haitokei tena wamalize mchezo at least dakika 
za mwanzo. Okay. Cha, cha mwisho uh, mwalimu Daila Gije akiwa na Juma Mgunda pamoja na Suleman Matola. Nini wakifanyie kazi katika eneo la striker, eneo la shambuliaji tunaona kama butu hivi tukimtegemea mtu kama Daniel Lianga ambaye anacheza Coast Union yeah. lakini tunaona mwalimu anatumia sana viungo wengi sana. Yeah. Cha mwisho kipi cha kumalizia kuhusiana na swala zima la ufungaji? Kesho unahisi nani aweze kumweka pale mbele ili aweze kuleta matunda mapema? Uh, ile kuna mchezaji fulani alikuwa anacheza Azam ato idi shabini idi nani chirunda idi nado idi nado nafikiri yule iko vizuri kwa sababu ukiangalia na machua ki tactical football ana grow pia ki tactical football umenipata so siku zinaposogea anazidi kubadilika umenipata lakini ndio maana nimekwambia lazima uhakikishe a taking confidence a taking support umenipata a taking tactics a taking attitude inakuwa juu umenipata sasa uwezo kumtegemea mchezaji mmoja uwezo kutumia individual taking ukitumia individual taking kwa maana kuna matatizo ya taking support umeanipata hakuna support kwa ni taking umeanipata so kwangu mimi lazima wahakikishe kama team a taking inakuwa vizuri kuliko individual taking umeanipata andae formation ambayo goalkeeper uh, defense inafunga midfield inafunga na attacking inafunga na wings inafunga umeanipata so akishe team attacking inakuwa vizuri umeanipata ndio maana ndio hapa nimekutajia team attacking na team communication umeanipata sasa lazima hiyo akishe wanafanya vizuri sana yeah. okay. mimi nikushukuru sana Abbas Pira e bwana alikuwa na mchambuzi Abbas Pira ambaye pia alikuwa ni goalkeeper wa Kose Union lakini pia ameshaye kuchezea Chelsea akiwa ni goalkeeper na hivi karibuni ameweza e, kuandaa kozi ya ukocha kuweza kuwafundisha watoto ili kuweza kufanya vizuri hasa katika swala zima la mpira. Jina langu naitwa Mane Ndimba, golikipa Bonge Zedi Tanzania nzima. Nilikuwa tuna Abbas Pira, yeye alikuwa anakuletea uchambuzi kuhusu na swala zima la mchezo katika taifa Sasa pamoja na Sudani. Endelea tu kusubscribe YouTube channel harakati za Bongo Bada Info zote za michezo.